The Scuba Pro Galileo Soul is an extremely flexible dive computer with lots of features and options. And thanks to its extra large dot matrix display and cell phone style user interface, you can easily program the Galileo Soul. In this video, we will look at some of the settings of the Galileo Soul. This video was created using the eDiving Scuba Diving Simulator. To access the main menu, you must be at the surface, then press the left button. Now, with the up and down arrows, you can scroll the main menu. Let's explore the main menu. To enter a sub-menu, just highlight it with the scrolling bar, then press the enter button. Let's enter the dive settings sub-menu. The dive settings sub-menu contains another 10 sub-menus. MB level, gauge mode, safety stop timer, PPO2 max, nitrox reset time, water type, reset saturation, all silent mode, PDIS, and PMG. Let's look at the PPO2 max submenu. The value of the PPO2 max determines your maximum operating depth based on your gas mix. You can set this value between 1.2 bar and 1.6 bar, or to off. If you set PPO2 max to off, you will not get any MOD warnings. If you choose off, you will be required to enter an additional confirmation in the form of a safety code. Let's set the PPO2 max to 1.3. Press save to save your selection and to return to the dive settings menu. Let's now go back to the main menu. To exit a sub-menu and return to a higher level menu, you need to hold the third button. Hold is defined as pressing a button for more than two seconds. Let's now look at the O2 settings sub-menu. From the main menu, select O2 setting, then press the enter button. Upon entering this menu, the current oxygen concentration will be highlighted. And underneath the O2% you can see the PPO2 max and the corresponding MOD or maximum operating depth. As indicated in the hint line, you can change the value of the O2% from 21% to 100% using the plus and minus buttons. Let's set the value to 32%. Once you have entered the desired value, press the double arrow to confirm the selection. After changing the oxygen concentration, the PPO2 max will be highlighted. As indicated in the hint line, you can change its value using the plus and minus buttons between 1.6 bar and 1.0 bar. Let's set it to 1.3 bar. To change the setting, just press the buttons until you reach the desired value. You might have noticed that as you change the O2% and the PPO2 max values, the MOD changes accordingly. Note that the MOD is also a function of water type, salt or fresh, and of atmospheric pressure. To confirm our O2% and the PPO2 max settings, let's now press the save button. The Galileo Soul will return to the main menu screen. Let's now look at the warning settings submenu. To enter the Warning Settings menu from the main menu, use the up or down buttons to select the Warning Settings menu, then press the Enter button. The Galileo Soul can warn you about specific situations that might require an action on your part. Warnings represent situations that require the diver's attention, but ignoring them does not represent an immediate risk. It is up to you to decide which ones you would like to be active and which ones not. All warnings can be off, visual only, audible only, or both visual and audible. The audible warning consists of three short sequences of beeps. If a warning is set to visual or both, and it is triggered while the Galileo Soul is in compass mode, the display will automatically switch back to the regular configuration in order to properly show the warning message. In this video, we will describe the visual warnings for the light configuration only. Each warning has its own submenu within the Warning Settings menu. Use the up or down arrow buttons to scroll through the list. 
A highlighted bar will show the selected submenu, and once entered, you will see a hint line at the bottom reminding you which warning submenu you are setting. At any time, holding the right button will return to the warning settings menu without saving any unconfirmed changes. Let's look at the tank pressure submenu. The Galileo Soul can warn you when the tank pressure reaches a certain level. For instance, you can set it to half the full tank pressure as a reminder that it is time to start a slow ascent. To enter the submenu from the warning settings menu, use the up and down buttons to select tank pressure. Then press the enter button. The default setting for this warning indicator is off, but let's set it to both and let's set the pressure to 1500 psi and save. During the dive, if the tank pressure reaches the value set in the menu and the warning is set to either visual or both, the Galileo Soul will show the message value PSI reached on the display for 12 seconds. In this video, we have covered some of the settings of the Scuba Pro Galileo Soul. To learn more about the Galileo Soul, take the Galileo Soul online specialty class at divecomputertraining.com. To practice with the Galileo Soul, use the eDiving Scuba Diving Simulator.